which was killed uh, since 2008. Um, and you know, we have to redouble our efforts to drive those numbers down. But I think that what I'm trying to say to you is that the causes of this uh, kind of violence are complicated. They are not just related to government expenditure. They are about changes in uh, society, changes in... Not just related to government expenditure. So is that an element? I'm just trying to pin down if that's an element in your view. No, I mean, obviously government expenditure... Hi everyone, so you're looking at the Belka DX uh, radio that I bought earlier last year. Um, you're listening to BBC Radio 4 on Longwave and some of you will have noticed, I'm sure, that um, the radio is actually tuned to 10.198 megahertz, uh, which it is, and that is because my friend Mike, Golf Zero Mike Juliet Whiskey, he's also a radio ham and member of the Harwell ARS, well, he bought one of these radios on the back of some videos that I uploaded when I first got mine months ago. And like me and like many people, it was a bit disappointing that uh, this radio's uh, frequency range, I think starts at 1.5 megahertz. So you get kind of the X band, but you don't get anything else and you don't get long wave. And as you all know, I'm a big fan of long wave as is Mike. Um, he agrees with me that I think that there's no better way to listen to the cricket than on radio four on long wave. So, he being um, very clever uh, in electronics, uh, I'm not sure whether he designed it. I'm assuming he designed the up converter himself. I don't know whether he copied the design. He's certainly capable, more than capable of designing one himself. Yeah. Um, so he built himself a LF up converter for his Belka DX and um, very kindly um, built me one and uh, posted it to me, effectively gifted it to me, which is very kind of him. I did offer to pay, but he said that the components didn't really cost very much. So that's really, really kind of him. I've been meaning to do this vi video for quite a long time, actually, just as a way of saying thanks, because I know he does occasionally uh, have a look at the channel. So um, so uh, it works by um, mixing, um, uh, obviously, heterodyning a, a higher frequency signal with the uh, wanted signal um, uh, in the LO and um, basically adds 10 megahertz uh, uh, the, that, that process so um, so 198 kilohertz becomes 10.198 me megahertz so uh, which means that uh, I can indeed now listen to um, radio 4 on long wave with the bulk of the X which is brilliant uh, what's also brilliant about this up converter is that as you can see it's much smaller actually than the radio itself um, which means that because um, the bulk of the X is a great radio fantastic obviously for traveling if you can live with the rather terrible ergonomics, um, it's very, very sensitive with a deep, with a good antenna. You know, it's as good as m most all of my uh, other portables. So uh, perfect for uh, traveling. And um, obviously with the up converter, then you can uh, listen uh, to long wave as well, which is for me, of course, is fantastic. So, um, so there you go. It's uh, battery powered. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just a fantastic bit of kit. And my gratitude goes out to, to Mike for being so kind as to build me one and, um, and pass it on to me, um, FOC. So uh, thanks very much to Mike. Don't ask me for a circuit. Well, you can ask me, I don't have a circuit. Um, I don't know whether Mike is prepared to share it or not. He, he may be, he may, he may, he may, he may um, uh, be prepared to, but I don't know. So, um, uh, all, uh, but I guess that they'll, circuits for, for up converters are all over the internet anyway. But, um, so there you go. It is possible to listen to uh, long wave and medium wave on the Belka DX um, with an up converter. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you all had a great Christmas. Happy New Year. Um, thanks for watching. 73.